Hey YouTube and welcome to another video. We are going to be looking at some ranked games of the 1v1 legend, the best to ever do it. That's right, Fairy Peak. We're going to be watching Fairy Peak against Dr. Known. Dr. Known is beginning to become a staple on the channel after just a few days because he uploads his replays to ball chasing. That's why we've seen him in so many different games. But I noticed that he's playing against Fairy Peak and he played against Fairy Peak in, or he didn't play against Fairy Peak in a recent tournament, but Fairy Peak has been playing more 1v1 and has even played in a recent tournament held by D7, a French streamer who held a 1v1 tournament. And I'm not gonna spoil any of the, those games that have went on. I'm not sure where D7 is at uploading them. So I'll have you guys go ahead and check that out. I'm sure you can look it up on Liquipedia or if you speak French or are interested in watching Fairy Peak play Regardless, uh, you know, the Twitch VOD will be up because I do believe that his games have at least already partially been streamed or he could go up on his YouTube. I know he has a, a big Rocket League YouTube as well. I haven't watched any of them live, I'll be honest. So I just am excited to watch Fairy Peak play knowing that he maybe put a little bit of time back into the game mode. I think I saw him highly rated on the leaderboards, which he does on occasion ever since he's been in and out of the show match scene. It's not like he hasn't ever played the game mode before. Uh, I last reached out to him for the Mount 1v1. I was going to have Fairy Peak be one of the peaks of the mountain that everyone had to climb. And at the time, he said he was pretty much out of 1v1. Wasn't expecting to get back into it or grind it for any real purpose. And that might still be the case. Uh, but, you know, we can all sit and speculate that we can hopefully get Fairy Peak back into the game mode a little bit more often. Right now, Dr. Known... Trying to show him where the game is at since he's left it. A youngster on the grind. If you haven't seen any Dr. Known games, maybe you just clicked on this video for the first time. Dr. Known is a 13-year-old Saudi Arabian 1v1 player. Uh, I say 1v1 player, I'm assuming he plays all the different modes, but I think he is high, most highly rated in 1v1, and we've watched a few of his games recently on the channel, sometimes with a focus on him, but also with a focus on the players that he's playing against, which, of course, right now, is Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak. Diving to challenge this one. He is playing from behind early against Dr. Known. It's interesting to see where Fairy Peak's game is at. I wonder if we'll ever get Batmobile Fairy Peak back for 1v1. I think even in his final matches and tournaments that he was playing, he was already off the Batmobile. But it's something that we all can look back with great nostalgia. We've seen a few different players used the Batmobile to decent effect not long ago. I think AJ brought it out most recently in a show match, maybe on Johnny Boy stream. But this is a crazy challenge from Fairy Peak as he flies to the ceiling, jumps immediately back off, intercepts Dr. Known as he looks to carry the ball, and then demos him in the process as well. So insult to injury for Fairy Peak to tie the game who started down early but has even the score line up against the youngster showing him the ropes Dr. Known doing a good job of capitalizing on what was a good kickoff put the ball in a tough to handle position and followed it up for the third goal and the lead I really do like Sovereign Heights I feel like maybe I should set up show matches on it more often I think some players don't like Sovereign Heights but you know certainly of the two maps we have most recently been giving, which I believe is Sovereign Heights and the new Fire and Ice map. That Fire and Ice map is hard to see. Fairy Peak getting forced into an own goal. Dr. Known able to win the challenge at the midfield and then Fairy Peak had a couple choices. Either dive on the ball or just let an open net get shot upon. Although we have to go back and look, but it did seem like maybe all Dr. Known could have done was clear the ball into the corner and then was actually able to use Fairy Peak as a slight wall to help pinch it in when he maybe, maybe otherwise couldn't have, but I do think Fairy Peak was forced to put some kind of play on the ball. Down 4-2 against Dr. Known. Really found nothing on that offensive take. And Dr. Known is quick to this ball. Did he get it in? He did! Crossbar it in. Dr. Known up 5-2. Fairy Peak what does he have left in him? Him and Solary have actually done pretty well in RLCS. If you haven't been following RLCS, uh, what everyone was joking about the retirement squad of K.Fairy and Chassette, 
the French wonders all joining on Solary actually did a great job in the split. Uh, you know, I'd say a pretty respectable performance from them, although they weren't major level teams. Uh, they weren't major. They weren't a major level team. They still looked really good, and you know, even took down some of the young, more uh, hyped up teams. So hopefully, we see a lot more out of Solary again in this next split. Right now, Fairy Peak will put himself within two, I should say with 50 seconds left to go. Right now, he's got a possession that Dr. Known tried to break apart. He pre-jumped this dribble and was actually up over the top of the ball before Fairy Peak even brought it to him. Fairy Peak needed to adjust, likely, and not just take the ball straight to him. That's actually a great save. He go crossbar now. Fairy Peak's gonna pre-jump as well. He actually did a great job challenging from the ceiling earlier. Can he fall and get this touch? He just barely couldn't. But he did force Dr. Known to recover late. Fairy Peak needs a goal right now. It actually doesn't look like it's happening. Dr. Known taking it away. 15 seconds left to go. Off the backboard, Dr. Known actually gets challenged here. 10 seconds left to go. It would need to immediately go in. Dr. Known would have to make a massive mistake and then a kickoff goal to follow suit. But it's not going to happen. Dr. Known is going to beat Fairy Peak in the first of two games that we're going to be watching here. I think, to be fair, there was actually one game that we aren't going to be watching which I believe was a blowout in favor of Fairy Peak. So this time in favor of Dr. Known, and let's watch one more game. Game number two between Fairy Peak and Dr. Known. You know that these were all queued up around the same-ish time because Dr. Known has been rocking this same setup on his car, this Evil Genius' decal. I'm not sure if he always runs it. Maybe he's been running it for a long time, but he's definitely running it during the few weeks, the past couple weeks that he has been uploading replays to Ball Chasing. Always appreciate these players at high rating who are willing to upload all their games. Leads to an opportunity for great content for the community to check out how those high level ranked games are going. And it's uh, pretty much the only way we'd be able to get to see Fairy Peak in action, except for that D7 Cup that I do recommend checking out if you're interested in watching a French broadcast. There is lots of good players in that tournament. In fact, I think it's setting up yet another chance to watch Rawas Moxie. So if you guys like Rawas Moxie, I believe there's two pools in which Rawas and Moxie, if you ask me, are the strongest players in that tournament. And so I would think it'd be inevitable that they might meet in the finals if they play through their pools correctly. So check that one out. Rawas Moxie always solid and Fairy Peak playing in it as well. So definitely worth a look. The wall to air dribble for Dr. Known. Double reset from Dr. Known. These are the kind of mechanical things that if he's capable of pulling off alongside what we've seen from him as really smart 1v1 gameplay, he might be everything everyone hopes for when another prodigy comes around. He actually gets this reset and bumps Fairy Peak. But Fairy Peak doing a good job to fight that off. This long shot will get collected. So Dr. Known being able to spice in a bit of risk without conceding like he did against Bems. We watched him against Bems a couple days ago. Bems, a South American player who was playing in EU because he was there for the major. So an interesting matchup that we probably won't see again for a long time or maybe ever for all we know, considering these guys playing from different regions. But in that one, Dr. Known trying a lot more aggressive aerial attacks and not covering his net well. He's doing a bit of a better job against Fairy Peak with that. Fairy Peak's going to fall from the ceiling, never using his flip and then Actually, way too high of a bounce. Might be able to make something out of this bump as he sends it to the side wall. Dr. Known too quick. So Fairy backs off. Big miss, but with no boost for Dr. Known. It actually maybe could have been a miss on purpose. Might have been a better read of the situation that Fairy Peak had than I did. If he knew Dr. Known wasn't on him, then maybe he doesn't take it to the corner. Instead, he rather has that midfield dribble. Dr. Known trying to be a brick wall. Cannot get it past Fairy Peak. Power slides just slightly off the boost. And a pre-jump from Fairy Peak again. These guys have done a good job of slowing each other's aerial attacks down. And now it's Fairy with a very obvious Walt air dribble setup. Nothing that Dr. No can do to stop it. He actually hit behind the ball. I've never seen somebody hide behind the ball that high up on the arena. I was, I was like, where's Dr. No? I don't understand what he's going to challenge. Turns out he's hiding behind the ball all the way up at ceiling height. What an incredible challenge from Dr. No to tie up the game. Barry's going to be forced to back off on this one. 
Reset work from Dr. Known. Slows the ball down, trying to sneak it in near post. But Ferry able to cover it, and then a big blunder by Ferry. No reason to leave as easy of an opportunity on the net as Ferry just did. And now playing from behind again against Dr. Gnome. Might be able to fix that on this kickoff. Needs to bump Dr. Gnome, but can't. Dr. Gnome now with space and time. What is he going to do in these situations? He's going to take the sky. Lean back, reset. And he's been taking all of his outplays way too far away from Ferry. I think that's something that he needs to work on adjusting. Ferry has dribbled to the top left. Or sorry, yeah, top left. He's saved away. But as I was saying, Dr. Known. After you get those resets, he does such a good job of setting it up. He looks like some of the best aerial players in the game, the way he sets them up. But then he's using the finish without recognizing where Ferry is. This is actually a good decision to not use the reset after all this waiting that we've seen from Ferry. Maybe get it over the top of him, but Ferry actually has done a great job on defense. And then a late flick, tie the game. So that's what Dr. Known is going to have to work through. And and what ends up happening, especially the way Ferry has been defending it, is you'll have to just not use your reset, which I think is something that players who get it sometimes are resistant to. It's a great 50 in the corner from Ferry. Ferry has the lead now with a minute left to go. But players think, I, I did all this work. I, I had all the sweet setup. I have the flip. I want to use it. But if that defender stays shadowed, stays turned away, you usually have to take it off that next bounce. And that's a much better scoring opportunity. But that will come. That will come for Dr. Known. Right now, kickoff goal. Actually ties him up here with Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak forced to make this challenge in the corner. And now on zero boost. You never want to stay high on the wall with low boost when you can't avoid it. This time, Dr. Known retreating back to his half. Fairy didn't really have to worry about it. Wow, what a great low 50 for him. And a fifth. But the longer you stay up high on the wall with zero boost, you can really get exposed. So players are definitely sweating in that position. And you, as the opposition, if you have an opportunity to steal it from that player, if you can recognize they're on low boost, then you definitely should go for it. It's a bit of a risk, though, as challenging someone on the wall who does have boost can be very, very risky, very... Uh, you know, hard to read. But with 15 seconds left to go, Ferry looks like he's going to extend it even more. That last offensive attack from Dr. No. In fact, it's a forfeit with 11 seconds left to go. This is not a show match. We won't wait out the seconds. Dr. No says, you know what, Ferry, you got it. Although with 11 seconds, it actually isn't impossible. Dr. No certainly could have won this game. And I'm sure he would have tried in a different context. But very peak. Back in the ones game. You know, in and out of the ones game for a while. But I think the big thing is that that D7 Cup means he's playing at least some tournaments. You know, maybe he's only playing French tournaments. Maybe we'll see him back in some other 1v1 series. But either way, always great to watch Fairy Peak. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.